Good morning. I apologize for my tardiness this morning. Got a little sidetracked. We're getting ready to pack up and go home today. So it is Wednesday, December 23rd. And as Garfield says, it is the eve of Christmas Eve. So hurry up. That's what Garfield says. Good morning, Carrie. And today's prayers are for healing. If I ascend to heaven, you are there, O God. And if I make my bed in hell, still you are with me. Psalm 139, verse 8. Let's be still and aware of God's presence within and all around. In the beginning, O oh God, you shaped my soul and set its weave. You formed my body and gave it breath. Renew me this day in the image of your love. O oh great God, grant me your light. O oh great God, grant me your grace. O oh great God, grant me your joy this day. And let me be made pure in the well of your health. Amen. And today I'll be reading from Psalm 103. Good morning, Kelly. O oh, my soul, bless God. From head to toe, I'll bless his holy name. O oh, my soul, bless God. Don't forget a single blessing. He forgives your sins, everyone. He heals your diseases, everyone. He redeems you from hell, saves your life. He crowns you with love and mercy, a paradise crown. He wraps you in goodness, beauty eternal. He renews your youth. You're always young in his presence. God makes everything come out right. He puts victims back on their feet. He showed Moses how he went about his work, opened up his plans to all Israel. God is sheer mercy and grace, not easily angered. He's rich in love. He doesn't endlessly nag and scold nor hold grudges forever. He doesn't treat us as our sins deserve nor pay us back in full for our wrongs. As high as heaven is over the earth, so strong is his love to those who fear him. And as far as sunrise is from sunset, he has separated us from our sins. As parents feel for their children, God feels for those, those who fear him. He knows us inside and out, keeps in mind that we're made of mud. Men and women don't live very long. Like wildflowers, they spring up and blossom. But a storm snuffs them out just as quickly, leaving nothing to show they were here. God's love, though, is ever and always, eternally present to all who fear him, making everything right for them and their children as they follow his covenant ways and remember to do whatever he said. God has set his throne in heaven. He rules over us all. He's the king. So bless God, you angels, ready and able to fly at his bidding quick to hear and do what he says. Bless God, bless God, all you armies of angels, alert to respond to whatever he wills. Bless God, all creatures, wherever you are, everything and everyone made by God. And you, oh my soul, bless God. So 
Psalm 103. And I'm reading a second poem from Madeline Lingle, who wrote The Little Prince, I believe. Um, Love's Incarnate Birth. Observe and contemplate. Make real. Bring to be. Because we note the falling tree. The sound is truly heard. Look, the sunrise. Wait. It needs us to look, to see, to hear, and speak the word. Observe and contemplate the cosmos and our little earth. Observing, we affirm the worth of sun and stars and light unfurled. So let us, seeing, celebrate the glory of love's incarnate birth and sing its joy to all the world. Observe and contemplate. Make real, affirm, say yes. And in this season, sing and bless. Wind, ice, snow, rabbit and bird, comet and quark, things small and great. Oh, observe and joyfully confess the birth of love's most lovely word. Love's Incarnate Birth by Madeline Lingle. So let's reflect on our song and on our poem and on the Christ of the cross, suffering in the world with all those who are broken. O Christ of the road of the wounded, O Christ of the tears of the broken, in me and with me, the needs of the world, grant me my prayers of loving and hoping. Grant me my prayers of yearning and healing. Let's pray for the coming day and for healing within and among people. God before me, God behind me, God above me, God beneath me. I on your path, O oh God, you, O oh God, on my way. In the twistings of the road, in the currents of the river, be with me by day, be with me by night, be with me by day and by night. Amen. Well, may you have a blessed Eve of Christmas Eve this Wednesday. Um, the weather at the beach is sunny and I hope it keeps with us as we make our way home and as you make your way through your day. Oh, and I have a blessing from John O'Donohue, just a few verses of his Matins blessing. May I live this day compassionate of heart, clear in word, gracious in awareness, courageous in thought, generous in love. Amen and amen. Have a blessed day and I'll see you on Christmas. Maybe. I'll be here whatever time you want to join me. Bye-bye.